Welcome to day 38 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we're gonna install Swiper.js on a Webflow collection, on a CMS Webflow collection, and make that collection into a slider, a draggable slider that we can drag through. We can use uh, mouse arrows to go through it. Also, we can scroll horizontally on the trackpad. We're gonna use Slater AI to write this code for us. Uh, this is going to be fun because instead of going through the whole docs and finding what we need, we'll just tell Slater AI what we want and it will build it for us. I'm having so much fun with this. So I'm going to be testing out how much can Slater AI do. And I'm going to be challenging the AI itself to see what it can give me. So without further ado, let's jump to it and see if this is going to work. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey because a lot of cool stuff are coming on the way. Also, tune in tomorrow to our session with Jack on Slater AI and we're going to talk about GSAP animations and how you can integrate that with Slater AI itself. Let's get to work. Okay, so what we have here is a collection list of blog posts. So we have 10 blog posts and we have this uh, collection that is spread out uh, horizontally and we want to make it into a slider. Now, what we need to do first is go to swiperjs.com. So this is the library that we're going to use for this. So swiperjs.com has a, a rule. Well, it has an HTML layout that it's preferably you should follow. So the HTML layout says the parent element, the main container should be called swiper and then inside it, it's called swiper wrapper and then the slides are called swiper slide. So this is what I followed here. So when you bring a collection, you call the parent collection into swiper, the collection list into swiper wrapper and then the collection item into swiper slide. Uh, now I've set some details here, but we're going to break them probably with the slides. Um, next is to go and call the CDN. So we need to call this library into our project. So we'll go to swiperjs.com. Again, this is in docs getting started. So this is where you find it. This is where you find the HTML layout as well. I should have mentioned that earlier, but yeah, so we'll need to call the CDN. So you copy the script and then you go to your Webflow page, you go to the page settings, and then you paste it before closing body tag. And you also copy the styles, and then you paste it in the head tag, and we can save this. Now, now that we have Swiper.js, it's not actually that hard to install. You can go through the docs and uh, see uh, what you can, like the options that you can put on it. But there are a lot of stuff uh, it can get like there are really cool stuff. But um, if you have time, you can go through it. But I'm going to take the shortcut, the awesome shortcut and just go to Slater AI and, you know, tell it what I want. And it will just prompt or give me that code that I need. Now, I was testing this out here. So again, spoiler alert, it works. Uh, what I need to do first is um, I have prepared a prompt actually so I just wrote this out uh, based on what I want now I I am a bit aware of how slide swiper JS works so for me to to write this prompt it was easier because I know what I want but if you don't know what you want perhaps you can have this back and forth conversation with Slater and then you can uh, get to the to the option that you want now let's read this Prompt. So this prompt goes like generate JavaScript code using jQuery to create Swiper.js slider within a Swiper class. Uh, the slider should be draggable and loop infinitely. The transition speed should be configurable through a slider duration attribute and is set to 300 milliseconds. The number of slide displayed should be three on desktop, two on tablet and one on mobile. Uh, the slider should have a mouse wheel forced to access options so that I can scroll through it horizontally. The slider will not have a rewind option. Also set free mode on the slider so that I can so that it doesn't snap. And then finally enable 
keyboard when in viewport so let's copy this prompt and let's go to slater ai and let's just paste it here and let's chat with slater in the meantime while it's generating the code let's copy the script of slater and just make sure that we connect it to our uh, page so we go to the site uh, to the page settings we go to the before closing body tag and just we paste this here so we just save this and it's best to publish so that we know this slider is working so so now that it's published we know that our code is installed so let's copy the code that slater gave to us and let's just go through it so first thing uh, it's not called swiper container now again let me point out one thing uh, slater will give you the cdns but it's best to go to the original source of the cdn so that you can get the up-to-date uh, library in this case you see it gave me like a jquery cdn uh, or an unpkg un swiper swiper bundle and this is not what i want so that's why it's best to go to the library and get the bundle from here um, it could be it could work and i'm not saying it doesn't work but if you want the up-to-date stuff it's best to go on the original source and get the cdn from that library itself um, so let's continue through this so first thing we corrected the the name of the swiper so here we have swiper just swiper it's not swiper container uh, slides per view is auto now this is not what i wanted i already told it to be three but actually let me test if this works so here you see we have space between s40 so this is the default that i have uh, the loop is true, so this is good. The direction is horizontal, it's draggable, it's free mode, the mouse wheel is forced to access, the keyboard is enabled, and then breakpoints, you see like this is the tablet breakpoint, so it's giving me two, and then this is the well mobile horizontal or mobile landscape, and it's giving me one. And then it's parsing this um, attribute to say, the duration is 300 of the slides. So on Slater, once you install the script on your page, you can just save to dev here. And uh, once the slide turns green, you know that your code is published. So let's refresh here and let's see how this is working. Now, this is giving me two slides per page and this is not really what I want. Now it's working, so that's good, but it's giving me two slides per page. I want three slides now I told it that but it still gave me auto and uh, I'm not sure why that happened but let's tell it slice per view is three and then on the breakpoints it changes so let's save the light turned green we're good to go let's publish refresh and it's still giving me two all right so what we need to do is add breakpoints here so we need to add one more breakpoint. So it will be 991. And then we open this, we say slides per view. No, slides per, okay, slides per view is three and then comma, and then it closes. Uh, no, we need to close this one what is wrong yeah we need to put the comma so it's always a comma it's always a comma let's save this to dev and uh, let's see actually let's delete this one since we we already told it how many slides per view there will be and let's go back to our page now it's correct we have three slides per view this is what i want um I can swipe through it, it's infinite scroll. Uh, it has this free mode so that you can see like, it doesn't really snap to the, to the current page, to the current slide, let's say. Uh, so I have that and I can do with my, I can scroll it with my keyboard, so that's good. 
I can swipe through it horizontally on my trackpad. So that's also good. And um, yeah, so that's basically how you install Swiper Slider. Let's actually check on tablet. So I have the mobile simulator and I want to check on tablet. So on tablet, we have two. That's good. Um, on mobile, let's check on an iPhone 12 Pro Max. We have one, but perhaps we need to adjust the size on mobile uh, to make this full width. But this is working. This is what I wanted exactly. And uh, yeah, that's how you install Swiper.js on your website. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I taught you something today. As usual, I'm going to leave you a link to this clonable in the description below. Stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey by turning on that notification bell, subscribing to the channel. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and drop any comments that you have. And uh, see you tomorrow in day 39.